Hello, I'm Jill, GL Assessment's e-training expert. I'm here to show you how to keep your TestWise account up to date. We've made some changes, so even if you've used it before, it's worth spending a few minutes getting familiar with the features. First, let's look at a few important setup tasks you need to do. One of the first things you should do when you've logged into TestWise is to make sure your school and contact details are correct. You can view and amend these details by clicking on the Manage Schools icon, where you'll need to add your school address. You are also able to add your school logo so that it appears on the assessments reports. You'll also find a lot of useful information in the Services section. Here, you'll see all the tests you have purchased, as well as their current status in terms of credits you have left. And if you click on the subscription icon, you will see the details of the tests, including which levels and reports are included. Need to add new users? Click on the user icon, then click on the add user button and fill out the details. We recommend that school administrators take responsibility for setting up new users. You will need to decide what role they'll have on TestWise and hovering over the role will provide a useful description to help you decide. Once saved, the new user will receive an email with a link to enable them to log in. That's all you need to know to keep your TestWise account up to date. We would encourage you to spend a few minutes getting familiar with TestWise before you actually need to use it for assessments and of course we're always available to help. There are help links at the top of each TestWise section or you can visit the help pages on the website where you'll find a range of easy to follow guides, videos and helpful tips to make sure you get the most from the new TestWise system.